going for a, f a family meal for my birthday. That was on Monday. Um, I couldn't celebrate it on Monday because I was going to camp. Lately, especially this year, because we've been so busy um, competing in other countries and going to different competitions abroad, um, yeah, it's been, it's been rare to even be at home. <laughs> my first fight was 2005, I think it was. It was in the Adelphi Hotel and I'm quite a laid back person, so I wasn't stressed or anxious, but I was just excited because it was, it was something new and I was going to see basically if, if I liked it and seven years later here we are. <laughs> we had to go to the World Championships in China and we had to, uh, for me personally, I had to reach the last three of all the top three European places. It basically meant I had to medal and I managed to do that. It's just a sport, like it, it's just what it's just something that you do the same way a racing car driver gets into a racing car, it's just something that you do. They don't think they're gonna get into a racing car and have a crash, and we don't think we're gonna get into a boxing ring and have something bad happen to us. A, a lot of people that have them opinions has never seen women's boxing at its highest level, and I think the Olympics will open a lot of people's eyes to that. As soon as you say, oh, you're a boxer, people will presume you'll look a certain way and people will always like, oh, you don't look like a boxer. And I'm like, oh, what does a boxer look like? Because like in, in any sport or or any form of life, people come in all different shapes, sizes, looks and races. We are still females. I still like to get dressed up and go out with my friends. And, and st yeah, and I still like to look nice and present myself right. <laughs> stigmatise someone t as to look in a certain way just because of the sport that they do. To me it's a bit silly but you know it, it is a rough male dominated sport. If you do look a certain way the media will attach themselves better um, to you and, and, and simply because they believe that it'll sell more because you are prettier or you are a certain type of person. It should just be about what you're there to do, which is your sport, and unfortunately, it's not. It's not. That's not always the case. You can be, you can be the the best tennis player, but because you're not the best looking, you may not get as much attention as maybe a good looking person will get. Going to the Olympics in in London, um, it's massive for me. It's it's arguably the biggest sporting event in in the world, and. My family are going to be. My family can all go and they can they can watch. They can be there and support. And it's nice to to be in your own country and and for a change have people cheering for you and not like you just your ten teammates clapping saying go on Sash. So yeah, it's, it's huge. It, it's huge for for me as an athlete personally, um, and it's huge for the sport of boxing and especially women's boxing because there's going to be loads of little girls that are going to be watching. Hopefully. I'll be thinking I want to be like her the same way I used to watch the Olympics and look at Tessa Sanderson, look at Tari Gray Thompson, Sally Gunnell and, and the rest of them and, and think I want to be here. Uh...